I'm Trixie the Golden Witch. Welcome to The Stoop. Today I'm reviewing the latest track from Red Veil, 04. And I have to say, I think it's pretty alright. What you reviewing? What you what you what what you what you reviewing? What you what you reviewing? I think it's pretty alright. Red Veil is an artist I became aware of because of the fact that Spotify just started pushing his music to me at some point. And uh, as usual, its algorithm works pretty well. What I find his sound most comparable to is actually probably a friend of mine, Dyron Miller from down in Houston, uh, has a kind of similar flow and overall sound. They both are definitely taking from the camp of uh, what Earl Sweatshirt's been doing in the last like five years or so, stuff like Sloss and Malone, where you've got these really noisy, repetitive samples uh, in the beats that are sort of overpowering and clangy and loud, and the voices are... Uh, sort of swimming through that. So, you know, it's it's vibey, it's eccentric. Red Veil is definitely the more fun artist in this sound. Like, when Earl does it, and when a lot of other artists do it, it sounds sort of tortured and, and low and dark. I would say that Red Veil doesn't sound like he's having such a miserable time. Uh, and and it, it's not as dark, and it's not trying to make as grand of a statement as some of those other artists are. Red Veil is, is a little bit more regular and personal. And I would say, you know, reading through these lyrics, what am I saying to a kid that he ain't heard? Probably nothing. But, uh, you know, these lyrics are, are, are fairly standard. It's not that they're bad or even, like, cliche necessarily. Um, you know, every crevice that they build and gets disturbed, aim this molly at the top, ain't gonna bleed if they don't burn. Speeding through Ephesians, I've been trying to heal up all this hurt, shit since 04, I've been in my Birkin. She like, why you stay taking flights? I'm like, shit, I'm working. I like these bars. I think some of them are really fun. I think it's a little hard to make out most of them throughout the actual song because it is so chaotic and loud. And, you know, I would say that the first thing grabbing my ear is definitely not the rap. It's not the bars. I, I got the beat stuck in my head way quicker. I don't know how involved Red Veil is on, like, the production end or anything of these tracks um, or, you know, or what drives, like, the choices that he makes in, in what he's picking. But, like, you know, I got the beat in my head off of hearing it just once, and I enjoyed it. So this is definitely a song that, like, even if it didn't strike me right away as like a classic track or something that I needed to hear again or had like these amazing bars, I could see listening to it again and again and again in the background. It's a song that if this was on an album that I was just going to listen to that album a whole bunch or if I just wanted to put on Red Veil and like kind of marinate in this sound, I think it's good for that. And, you know, I think Red Veil sounds good enough on the song that it's not like this would be better off without rap. It's not like a beat that I would just casually listen to by itself, even though I like it quite a bit. I think it's, you know, it's held together. It's the, the whole sound is sort of glued together by the presence of the vocals on the track. So it sounds good. It's just not extremely standout because there's not bars that I'm, I'm reading and thinking like, oh man, that bar is really going to stick with me or, you know, that, that, that flow is super going to stick with me. It's more the whole of the track the holistic feeling of this vibe and mood that it puts forward that I can see getting behind and, and returning to, and especially if it fits nicely into like a larger project. Um, you know, there's a, a little bit of switchiness on the beat, but not a whole lot. It's, it's mostly pretty straightforward, pretty short, like a lot of Red Veil's songs are. Um, so I would say that, you know, as an artist, Red Veil is, is someone who I come to for the fact that they have a very particular sound and atmosphere that they're going for. I would say that I don't have a great sense of who this person is, what like they uniquely bring as a rapper, so much as as a, a person who has a certain taste that like I can very much understand what Red Veil wants their sound to be, what they're you know trying to put forward, um, more so than like a, a more personal angle of it. And maybe you could consider the music itself to be a very personal angle, you know, like expressing choosing beats at all is a very personal kind of uh endeavor in itself and i understand that as a as a rapper but you know i'm curious to see if red veil is around for a long time 
how they're going to evolve, what will be different about this sound if it becomes more personal or more experimental or darker or lighter, you know, like what emotional direction this project goes in beyond, you know, where it's been so far. So yeah, I would say this is a, a pretty decent song. Not one of my favorites, but one that, you know, continues my interest in this artist and makes me want to see where they're going to go. So if you want to see where I'm going to go, subscribe to the channel here on Branches of Yig. We got music reviews and analysis. I have artist interviews. There's my own projects as well as the stuff that I do with my collaborator, producer, editor, Vizier, who runs this channel. Uh, you know, check all that out. Subscribe to Yig Studio if you want to see anime analysis. And don't forget that music is veiled in red.